Hello, Manny. How are you? Hey, JC. Uh, let me just try and move things about here. Um, let me do this. Let me do this. Is that okay like that? Hello from Montreal. Go Habs. How you doing? Midnight and Two are here. Uh, yeah, Tim from Midnight and Two is here. Hi Dale. Hi Alex. How's the lighting and stuff? Everything is it okay or uh, do I need... I've got a kind of light here but it looks a bit much at the moment. Tom, Joshua, JC, <laughs> everyone, John, Alex, Oscar Grillbite, hey Kevy, how you doing? It's good to see you all. Sierra Papa, Tony, 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 you're, <laughs> if you're watching this, you're, uh, you're watching it some <laughs> crazy hour in Australia. The lighting looks good, does that look okay? I kind of dim out the light there, but, um, yeah. Stevie K, hello, how are you? Second kind of cool, how you doing? You're uh, growing a moustache, yes. So, um, how's everyone's weekend been? Paul H. Films is here. Hello, Paul. How was the Sunday lunch? Lamb chops. Good stuff, mate, good stuff. Hi, Paul, Umar, Trevi B. from Florida. Hello. Um, I'm good, everyone. I, um, the... the the messages kind of scroll up the side of the screen here and then they disappear, so apologies if I miss anything. CJ from San, Di Sa San Diego? San Diego. Arthur Lam is here. Jose Luis. Ah, oh, sorry, I missed that. Yeah, Gil, hello. Very tasty. Well done. Did you have mint sauce? Oh no, you have uh, Lachentos, don't you? Paul Murphy. My picture's frozen. Maybe, yeah, uh, try refreshing the screen as a Picture good for everyone else. Naveen, hello. Hi, Alan. Uh, is it still working okay? Golden Steel. Lock Butcher Shop. Hi, hi. how are you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Um, <laughs> lashings of gravy. Okay, good. Black Blackcurrant juice. Mike Silver's picture is good here. Thank you, Mike. Okay, uh, the soap for today. Uh, I'm not sure how long Tim from Midnight and Two is going to stick around, uh, but thank you very much for joining us here, Tim, the shaving realtor. Brandon, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, the soap, Midnight and Two, the coast. Hi, Tom. Okay. So this is the soap I'm going to be using, um, and the guy that runs things, uh, Tim, uh, now let me just say Tim, I'm going to try and pronounce your surname, Tim Gutwald, or is it Gutwald, or is it Gutwald, whatever it is, Tim is here, so if you have any questions regarding this soap, uh, is that okay Tim, are you okay to answer some questions? Uh, Dundee United, Umar, Dundee United. Gut, Gutwald, Gutwald, okay, Gutwald. Tim Gutwald, who runs things at Midnight and Two, he makes these soaps. Uh, he's here, he's going to answer any questions. Okay, so this is Midnight and Two. I've got some notes here. It has a sweet, woodsy base with a sharp, floral, tropical finish. Uh, there's the soap there. Inspired by Canada's vast and diverse coastline, uh, the scent profile is rosemary, Himalayan cedarwood, geranium, lang lang, and eucalyptus. Uh, yeah, it's a nice scent on it. You can smell the uh, the woodsy base uh, and the sharp floral. It does have a kind of tropical scent to it. Uh, I'm going to be the last time I kind of followed the instructions on the inside of the tin uh, just because it was the first time I used the soap. Kevin, could you turn the camera side, sideways? Uh, 
I'm not sure if I can do that without stopping the video. Let me try. How's that? Is that better? Uh, I'm not sure if it kind of mucked it up there, so... Nope. Okay. So it's better like this. Yeah. I'm sorry to this. Yeah, I've, I tried to... Uh, I unlocked the iPad there, but um, the screen doesn't doesn't seem to turn. And I think if you do it landscape, you kind of get the two black sides at the you know how it kind of goes into well landscape mode. <laughs> Getty shaves mad house. You're like you're right. Yeah. So um, getting back to the soap. The last time uh, this soap really cool has this little thing in the in the lid. Tells you how to lather it up. Uh, and as Tim is here, thank you very much for sending me the products, Tim. I really appreciate that. Um, but what I'm going to do today, I'm going to bowl lather this. Just uh, for something a little bit different. Yeah, so, um, right, before I start, I've kind of turned it round, but I've turned it back so it's up and down the way. So, does the picture look okay or has it got these stupid um, bits at the side? Or does it look okay? Hi, Titty. Does it look okay? It's fine. Right. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, right, so I'm going to use the uh, black sides now. I don't know. Black bars on both sides. It's okay. Can you guys put up with it? I'm sure I've done it this way the last time. It, does it look okay though? You've got flaps. Yeah, I know that. I'm not showing you them though. <laughs> right, so I've got the little uh, exclusive spoon. Um, these are priceless now. So I'm just going to shave some of this soap off. That's a ton there. I shall put this into the Keddy Shaves bowl. Yeah, it's it's quite a it's quite a soft. I wouldn't call it a cream or a soap. It's a crop, I guess. But it's pretty soft. You could probably actually I could probably scoop some out with my finger if I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I could have used a teaspoon, but yeah, it's quite um, it's quite pliable. If you can see that. Grey dog, hello. Air conditioning, we don't need air conditioning here. Yeah, I got a haircut. What about this? Uh, can you see my Harry Potter scar? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened about that um, a bit later. Oh, yeah. Well, not yet, no. That's uh, still to come. I was just uh, telling them about the scar. Okay, so there's the soap in the bowl. And there's the soap there. And let me just wipe my finger. Right, let's get this whipped up with the Kerry Shaves Polka Dot Custom Brush from IC Shaving Brushes with the Tuxedo Knot. There it is there, nice brush. Only one of these in the world. It has a spotty bottom. It's a it's a 24mm knot, tuxedo. So let me just put some water in the sink. Thank you, Paul. So how's everyone's weekend? Have you all been uh, just relaxing? He does, Pete, he makes nice brushes. Thank you, Mike. Okay, let me just... Uh, Put some water in there. Yeah, so um, these soaps from Midnight and Two, uh, which Tim might be able to explain a bit better, the ingredients are uh, all good stuff in them. Shea butter, cocoa butter, uh, is there coconut oil? Why don't I just look at the tin and I'll tell you. 
uh, distilled aqua, stearic acid, castor oil, um, elip butter, palm oil, potassium hydroxide, uh, cocum butter, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, glycerin, sodium hydroxide, bentonite clay and essential oils, fragrance. All good stuff for the skin. Very, very good. Okay, I'll just squeeze the brush. Bruts, bruts, shh. And uh, we'll get to lathering and straight away it gets, uh, it's lathering up. Just dipping the tips. The good thing about these synthetic brushes, as opposed to badger brushes and stuff for bowl lathering, is you can really push them into the bowl without worry of um, kind of messing about with the knot. We always look at the ingredients, most of us didn't even know. Did you say brat? I'm hungry. Hemp seed oil, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, adding a few drops of water at a time here. Yeah, you can really dig in with, uh, it is, everything they use is uh, sustainable. Isn't that right? Hi Baz, how you doing? Yeah, isn't that right Tim? Everything is uh, sustainable and you try to get it from um, sort of local farmers and stuff like that. Yeah, they're great synthetic knots and you just, you can really eat them up in the bowl and stuff. Um, Badger knots, not so good, the, the, the hairs kind of tend to fall out. Wow, this is changing. You can smell, it's, uh, it, quell, uh, it smells quite, um... hello Jeff. Yeah, it's <laughs> every time I turn this brush, it, uh, the scent's changing. It's quite, uh, it's quite, uh, Herby or floral at the moment. To start with, it was it was kind of woodsy. Yeah, it does. I agree with you, Tim. It's really uh, it's changing again. <laughs> wow. I've got a ton of lather here, so if anyone wants to come round, feel free. Lovely shine on this. Again, it's a. Uh, I've added quite a bit of water so it looks like it does take a fair bit. I'll just add a couple of drops more. How long have we been going? 13 minutes already. <laughs> okay, there's the ladder there. Look at the peaks on that. And the shine on it. I don't know if, you, if it will pick up the shine, but um, you can see it there. Look at that. There you go. Lovely. Okay, let me just uh, set that aside. Put some more water. Yeah, as it said, uh, it looks like it looks like whipped cream. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. I, uh, I met Andrew, Andrew Mowbray, I met him yesterday at the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee. Hi Kieran from Ohio. Tim, there's a, a question for you, sir. Okay, uh, razor of choice for today. Um, I've used this, not on camera, but... Uh, I'm letting you guys see it for the first time. So it's a, it's a Gillette Aristocrat. Brand new, I've just, well it's not brand new, it's, <laughs> I just got this recently. Let me just turn this light a little bit so you guys can see it. Wonderful condition. Yeah, I think this one's about a 1952, 54, something like that. So that's a there, nice gold one. 
yeah, I've always wanted one. I've been looking for a good one. But the only thing is it didn't come with a case. Um, I'm not sure the year. They don't have they don't have date codes on the bottom of these. That's the only thing. But I know that this particular one I've looked up, I think it was made from kind of 52 to 54, something like that, but it's in wonderful condition. Uh, and everything works wonderfully well as it should. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, blade for that, uh, Gillette Silver Blue, brand new. Um, nothing on the back, so as you guys know how I do it, I get a Sharpie and I just put a little dot. So that means it's used once, in case anyone was wondering. Does it have the blade notch? Uh, Do you mean that little thing at the side? I don't think. Hello, hi Venice. Here it is there. Can you let me just shine that light a little bit more? Okay, let me just put this blade in. Good thing about these is uh, they're double wrapped. It's one of the older ones. Yeah, as it's in great condition. I didn't think there's little glue glue dots on these. I didn't think if they were double wrapped, they put glue dots on them. But this these ones do. So let me just put that in the razor. We'll just close it up, nice and tight. Okay, we'll put it there. Uh, I don't know, Tim. Tim will be able to answer that if they plan to open a store. Have a look at their website, it's uh, very detailed. Um, thank you, Grey Dog, 46 to 48. Yeah, the Midnight and Two website, uh, fantastic. Beautifully clean, laid out really well, uh, easy to navigate, and um, yeah, it's just, it looks really smart. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just put the lid back on this tin. I say it doesn't need to dry out because I've just scooped some out. Uh, so that's the brush, the bowl, the razor, the blade. Okay, let's uh, wet the face. No pre-shave today. Just go with the soap. Okay. There's a ton of soap here. Um, let's get lathered up. Yeah, I think that's the uh, I think that's the rosemary and the eucalyptus I'm smelling at the moment. Yeah, Paul H is here. If anyone wants to ask Paul questions, uh, he's probably sitting with his. Uh, <laughs> In his, in his easy chair after his uh, Sunday dinner. Nice lather this. JC, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just going to dip the tips a little bit. This is a really nice lather. Creamy, glossy. Yeah, I got a I got a haircut the other day. Why am I telling you that? I don't know. Look at the shine on this. I don't know if you can see the shine on this. It's, uh, the camera on this uh, iPad isn't the best. Oh, Dave Card's here. Flash Boredom's here. I had um, Tagliatelli. Okay, let's uh, let's go with this. 
Gillette Aristocrat. Can't see if it's not bloody light. <laughs> And this does have a, as with all vintage Gillette, so there is a bit of overhang to, just to be careful about. But this soap is very, very slick. It feels a bit weird uh, shaving with a vintage Gillette that isn't unadjustable. Dave, how's the weather in sunny England? Is it sunny? Dave C. Dave Card, is the, uh, is the weather sunny in sunny England? It's sunny here, but... Yeah, uh, you're right, Alex. It's sunny here, but I've had to put, um, I've had to put <laughs> black bin liners over the window. <laughs> to block out the light. No, it's never hot. <laughs> it's never hot here. This is a, a nice razor, actually. It's, uh, I would say it's on the mild side. But it's very nice, and this soap is uh, excellent. Thank you, Stevie. Was that a Davy Marshall I just seen there? I've never seen who asked that question about soaps or creams. I don't really have a preference to be honest. Um, yeah, soaps or creams, I don't really mind. I like them both as much as each other. Okay, first pass. Very nice. Great slickness from that soap. What's the worst? Uh, shave you've had. Yeah. Yeah, that was the worst one with the, uh, <laughs> with the, um, what was it, the, uh, what was that razor called? The, the, the single edge thing. Valley. <laughs> yeah, that was it. It's just that I couldn't, I couldn't relax because, uh, yeah, the valley was the worst shave. I just, I couldn't relax because I was trying to hold my finger on it and, uh, Stuff like that. Okay, let me just rinse this off. It was. It was like a... <laughs> it felt like shaving up with a broken bottle. But, um, yeah, I got through it. I've still actually got the, there's a couple of cuts here. Yeah, well, um, I've given it back to Arthur uh, at the moment, so he has it back. Okay, let's go again for this 
second pass. I get still a great shine on this. <laughs> yeah, shave it, that would be, uh, I think that would be quite dangerous. I have a straight razor actually, I, I won one in a raffle. It's, uh, I think it's like Japanese and Swedish steel. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good razor, but um, I've just not got the balls to use it. <laughs> If I'm honest. <coughs> I see. Hello. Um, th there's certain ladders that I get and you can just tell that they're good lathers. And this is one of them. You can just tell when you're putting it on. You guys might have the same thing. Let Mrs. Kevy use it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Um, yeah, there's certain soaps and creams when you lather them up and you put them on your face and you can just tell when you're painting it on, um, especially with the second and third pass. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful lather, Paul. Um, you can just tell from the, the shine and the stuff. It's weird. Actually, palm olives, one of them. When you do that, you can just tell it's a good lather. I know, the shine. Um, Soap Commander's another one. You can just tell it's a... It must be the, the ingredients that's in it. Okay, pass number two. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of not struggling to find the angle with this, but it's, uh, it's it seems to be slightly steeper. You know how most times would be kind of like that. This one seems to be a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, what's my favourite aftershave? Is that me you're asking, Paul, or is that to Paul H? Or my favourite aftershave? Wow, uh, probably Old Spice. Because when I when I wear it, it reminds me of my dad. Yeah, it's a little bit steeper, this one definitely. Ciao, Stefano. Uh, it's a, an aristocrat T-Rex. Yeah, the Shilton Old Spice. I've used. I've only used that once. Um, and believe it or not, it was that man, Arthur Lamb. Uh, the soap I'm using today is Midnight and Two, The Coast. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I've used the Shilton the uh, old formula. I got that from uh, Arthur Lamb again. He let me borrow it. And uh, you, you, you see it in the video, as soon as I put it on, just like memories come flooding back. And my dad going out on a Saturday night, coming down the stairs, absolutely reeking of Old Spice. <laughs> and him and my mum going out. My mum didn't wear it, by the way. She didn't wear Old Spice. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> Pinod Special Reserve, yeah. I've only got um, Pinod uh, Clubman. That's the only Pinod I have, and it's in, a, it's in an old vinegar bottle. Great feedback on this. I'm still going to just go this way, just on this little... Trouble spot. Sorry, what was that? 
what was about about the parasol balm. Nice second pass. Even slicker now. Okay, let me just rinse this. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Um, the scent strength on this is probably out of ten. I would say about a six, straight out of ten. But when it lathers up, it's a different scent. Not completely different, but probably about a maybe an eight. I've still got lots of this lather left. Look at that, there's still a ton in there. Um, but you know what I'll do. Nice haircut as well. Yeah, I'm getting it finished off next week. The haircut. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when Paul's going to do a live shave. Some guys don't have time to do them, you know. Um, you need to set aside Fair bit of time. Get things set up and then Yeah, you can just tell. Look at the shine on this. Tim, you have produced a fantastic product. And it's going everywhere. Yeah, the um I was reading the website today. And uh, I love how the name came about, Midnight and Two. Um, Tim was working uh, something financial and he would work 14 hour days uh, and he got kind of, he got a bit pissed with shaving and stuff like that. He, you know, soaps and it was a, becoming a chore, the usual stuff that happens to all of us. And um, he used to practice making the soaps after he came home from work and he would practice making the formulas between the hours of midnight and 2 a.m. And then he'd go to bed and get up for work the next day. Genius. So that's why it's called Midnight and Two. Okay, pass number three with the Gillette Aristocrat. Uh, here's the brush, you can't really see it much for suds, it's a polka dot. Paul, the slickness is uh, great, I mean, <laughs> it's just, I would put it up there with like Barrister and Man and stuff like that. Soap Commander, very, very good. Paul, was the, the soap that you got, the Coast, the one that you used, I know it didn't have a, a, a label on it, but Tim, is, that, is it the same formula that the one that I've got, but obviously this one was ready to go when I got it um, sent. Is it uh, exactly the same soap? Same formula, it's the same. Yeah, I thought it was. But you can really tell with the difference of the uh, the natural ingredients. Which I, I said in my video when I um, when I reviewed the, the study. I know a lot of people care about that sort of thing. <laughs> I 
leg ends. The uh, poly H technique there. But this side I'll do the Kevy shapes. Yeah, so how's everyone's weekend going? Have you been shaving? Kevy, how do you rank that GOF Trumper Spanish leather? Well, Brandon, I've got a... This is going to sound wrong, but I've got a bit of a fetish for leather. You know. <laughs> and... Uh, the Spanish leather. Yeah, I've seen that today, JC. The Spanish leather. I think Paul actually enjoys the Spanish leather as well. Um, <laughs> do you like that, Davey? <laughs> oh, the tighter the better. I like it to chafe. <laughs> wow. That feels fantastic. Yeah, so I was saying, the Spanish leather... Um, <laughs> Rubber too, Dave. Spanish leather, um, to me, when you guys talk about barbershop scents, uh, there must have been something different here in the UK, because to me, Spanish leather, to me, smells like, that reminds me of being in a barbershop when I was a kid. For some strange reason, I don't know. I think that there used to be, now Paul might be able to tell, tell me this, confirm this, there used to be a hairspray called um, Cossack in the barbers, it was a big massive tin of hairspray and um, it had like a guy with a, a total 70s porn star, he had a big moustache, just like a cartoon drawing and um, Cossack to me, I don't know if that was the, the scent, yeah that's it, but that Spanish leather that's what reminds me, I don't know if Cossack did have a leathery type smell, you know the hairspray but that's what Spanish leather reminds me of, a barber's. And uh, that and uh, cigarette smoke, or <laughs> cigars, because everybody smoked in the barbers, including the barber. Okay, let me just rinse this a little bit. I will have a little feel about here. There's the usual spots. Is that my moustache, Dave? My, yeah, that's, yeah, the barbers used to say that. Well, they, they wouldn't say it to us because we were only kids at the time. But um, when, you went, when you went into the barbers uh, and they'd say, anything for the weekend, sir? Uh, meaning condoms. Kevy, are you sure you're done? Yeah, well, I looked like a barber shop. <clears throat> I'll tell you a funny story, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I used to go for a haircut. Now, this is going back maybe about 10 years. Um, when I was, when I used to go for a haircut about 10 years ago, to this, I found, it's always hard to find a good barber. And um, this guy was from London. <laughs> and um, without a word of a lie, this guy, he was maybe nearly 60. He was camper than mullets. Um, he, he would come through, he had like orange hair. I'm not kidding, he had like a, a, a sort of crew cut and he had orange hair and he would come through and he'd be sitting waiting. Uh, and, and I'd always worry if I was the last guy there because he'd come through and he was really like camp. He'd sort of, he's about like this, you know. And he'd come through and he'd say, are you in for a haircut? And I'd be like, what? What? Are you in for a haircut? I, I always wanted to say, no, I'm not in for a haircut. Okay, I'll just put my gear on. <laughs> you know, it just, it's really weird. I always found it. Are you in for a haircut? I'm in a barber shop. What do you think I'm here for? I always wanted to say no, just to see what would happen <laughs> and then run out of the shop. And he, he had orange hair. 
he had orange hair and his face was almost orange, like these fake tans you get nowadays. Um, and I, I, I got chatting to him, he was a nice enough guy, but I said, I said what do you do, go on the sunbeds or stuff like that? No, that's, uh, I love drinking uh, carrot juice. That's why my skin's this pigment colour. I was like, Phew. and that's, <laughs> that's the story of my weird barber. And then he just disappeared. I went, I went there one time to get a, to get a, a haircut and it was closed. <laughs> How weird is that story? Are you in for a haircut? No, I'm not in for a haircut. Yeah, well, he was like, yeah, David Dickinson's got a more leathery look, but this guy was orange. He looked like a, he looked like an Oompa Loompa. He looked like a, an adult Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I often wonder if anyone said no when he asked, are you in for a haircut? Are you in for a haircut? Are you in for a special massage? <laughs> No, I'm not in for a haircut yet. We'd maybe come through, you know, with a, <laughs> the Jason mask on. Right, I'm ready! <laughs> Weird. Nah, he's not in prison. He was, he was harmless enough, but... And he used to, he used to talk about... Um, he used to talk about these ca the cafes. Um, there's a street in London, I don't know if it's, I think it still is like a, it's one of these streets where a lot of gay guys and stuff hang out, um, called Old Compton Street. And I was down in Old Compton Street, you know, hanging out in the cafes as you do, you know, and uh, I said, and he was going about these stories, like, and I'd be sitting there kind of, you know, straight laced, okay. haircut like a baked bean. What's this guy going on about? I've no idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's enough of that nonsense. That's an excellent, excellent shave. Oh, one little bit down there. Chasing the BBS. I need BBS. I need BBS. And that jawline. Oh, that jawline. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I can never get this on this damn jaw. I don't know why, because it's so big. I don't know if that's a little spot there. Yeah, it looks like a little pimple, doesn't it? I'm just going to go for the moustache again. All that chatting. <laughs> Pick up time. Thanks, Damien. Um, a cold water shave. I've had a cold water shave. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of felt bad for that guy now that uh, said that the videos were too long. He was only voicing his opinion. He said, great shave, but in my opinion, the videos are uh, too long. Yeah, when you bleed it's a close shave. Well, this is a close shave, but uh, there's no blood. It feels wonderful. Oh, look at that little, just, you know, that little trouble bit over there. I should have got that barber to get it. Okay, let me just uh, rinse off a little bit. Then, I'm going to take this soap, because there's still lots left here, and I'm going to just uh, rub it into my face. 
just a little face wash. You guys should try this because if you have time. Yeah, it is Paul, very nice. Almost uh, pretty much BBS. Yeah, if you have time to do it. Just uh, rub that into your face because the properties you get from the all the ingredients in the soap is really nice. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Someone said, how long do you do it for? As long as you like. Come back tomorrow, I'll still be... <laughs> I'll still be rubbing this into my face. I usually just go mad and do it up here and stuff as well, but maybe not for the live shape. Okay. Let me just rinse this off. I will uh, see you guys in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm rinsing it with cold water now, Alex. Finest Scottish cold water, because if it's not Scottish, it's crap. <laughs> oh, Titty, you missed everything, mate. Everything. Hi, Claire Shaw. Congratulations on your forthcoming wedding. Thank you. Would you believe it? I caught my Adam's apple. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Go and uh, have a snooze after your Sunday lunch. All the best, mate. No, Davy, it was on uh, um, Saturday Night Live in America. Okay. <sighs> Tell you what, nice shave. Okay, let's uh, start the post. Bye, Paul. There's cucumber. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, the keen edge. Thank you. Is that Keith? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to tell you about this cut. Can you see it? Bye, Jeffrey. See, Jeff. Uh, yeah, I was uh, swimming with tiger sharks, and uh, this tiger shark came up and uh, headbutted me because I was Scottish. <laughs> what a lot of shite. What a lot of shite. No, it was, um, I was <laughs> this scar, I was visiting my sister, um, and as you go out her front door and turn, you have to go out and turn left. She has a hanging basket, just kind of 
here as you turn just at the front door. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> was he asking you for money? No, he was wanting my uh, kilt. Kilt? <laughs> yeah, so as I go out my sister's door, there's a hanging basket. Uh, and usually I hit my head on the hanging basket and that's okay because the hanging basket has like compost and flowers and stuff in it. But this time she didn't have the hanging basket there. She'd taken it down to refill it with new flowers. And you know how you get the metal frame? You get the metal frame <laughs> that goes on the wall that the hanging basket hangs on like that. The metal frame. So I went at the door. Bam! Ouch! Um, so yeah. That's what happened. That was my sister probably getting it back because when, <laughs> when we were young I accidentally poured uh, boiling hot custard over her arm and she's got like a scar on her arm. I took out the microwave, kind of just picked the pot up. I picked the pot up <laughs> out the microwave, it was like a, car a plastic carton and it was really hot and I went ah! and it tipped all over her arm and she had to go to the hospital. So that was her getting me back. Okay, let me just uh, rinse this brush and stuff out with that wonderful Midnight and Clue, the coast. I really enjoy that soap. Really nice. I know. When we were growing up, there was, uh, there was six of us. Family of six. Four sisters and uh, me and my brother. My brother's passed away and uh, one of my sisters has passed away as well. So there are only four of us left. But when we were growing up, favourite soap of all time. My God, it was, uh, there were some mad times in that house, let me know. Um, favourite soap of all time? I don't know. Well, favourite soap of the last few shaves. Anyway. Midnight and two of the coast. See you, Dave. Have a nice one. Yeah, that's it. Uh... Oh, that's okay. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, these things happen. Um, people die and families and stuff. And um... yeah, I'm not getting emotional. I'm just uh, rinsing it with soap. Fish. <laughs> Yeah. Happens to us all though. Wonderful smell. Wonderful. Let me just uh, open this razor up and give that a little rinse. There you go. R41 in Ivory Shave, Circle of Life. No, I haven't. I haven't tried the Clar. Someone sent me a message on Messenger um, about some Swedish soaps that shaving station in the UK are selling. Supposed to be very, very good. I can't remember the name of them, but if you go on the shaving station website, it's not one that you've ever probably heard of, but he's saying that they're fantastic. Uh, is there any way to get samples of Midnight and Two? Uh, Tim might be able to answer that if he's still here. No, I haven't tried any Viking. Prix de Provence. Yeah, I have um, number 63. Time for a head shave. You think, what now? <laughs> thank you, Grey Dog. Great to see you. And uh, thank you again for the amazing brush. Okay, let's carry on with the post shave here. I'm talking and talking and talking. Right. The aftershave. Thank you for you. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Um, the aftershave is this. This is a wood spice. Burgundy for men. I've never used a straight. Uh, this is from a shop in the UK called Marks and Spencers. Uh, and there's the, the notes on it are um, an aftershave combining a smooth mix of spicy aromas blending black, red, and white pepper with base notes of precious woods, benzoin, vetiver, moss, and patchouli leaves a spicy fragrance on the skin. Yes, of course. Depends what you mean by some stuff. Are you in for a haircut? Oh, good stuff. Oh, that's, oh, that's yeah. Yeah, here it's here. It comes in this um, bottle. And this only costs 
six pounds, which is probably about eight dollars. So we'll have a splash of this, a big splash. There's a lot of alcohol in this, so this will sting, maybe. I'll tell you what, not one sting, a little bit on that little thing on my Adam's apple. Yeah, it's a very, um, it's a woodsy scent. I just thought that to go with the, the soap. Because I, I don't have the balm, but the, the Midnight in Two Balms, uh, without a word of a lie, in my top three balms. Um, probably that, Palmal Barbers, um, and Wickham's. Thank you, Nomeo. Yeah, um, the bams. Kerry, what's the key to a happy marriage with all the shaving puppet? Well, that is the key. That is the key. Just keep buying. Just keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's good good stuff. And I also bought the balm to go with this. Which I'm going to use. Yeah, I've I, I seen that, Tim. Um, but your bams, the, the, the feel, the face feel, kind of about half an hour after you put on, just incredible, incredible. So here's the balm for the wood spice. I actually bought this thinking it was aftershave. Could you look at the box? Um, can you see it there? It says moisturising aftershave. So I bought that thinking, I'll be the aftershave. Any new products under the wife's radar? Uh, my wife's not too bothered actually. She doesn't really bother about, about me buying stuff like that. Yeah, I'll just do shoot. <laughs> yeah, I bought this thinking it was the aftershave. Uh, got home, opened the box, and this was in it. It was the balm. See, the aftershave just has aftershave on it. And the balm has moisturising aftershave. Bad packaging, if you ask me. So I went back and bought that. I bought the aftershave after I bought the balm. This is a quite um, liquidy. Liquidy. It smells similar to the aftershave, but a bit more balmy. As Mrs. Kate she doesn't really mind about me shaving. See you, Tony. Um, she likes the scent of some of the stuff, but most of it, she says, it smells like old man. <laughs> I don't care. So that's the bam. How long have we been going? Almost an hour. Okay, gents, there we have it. Wonderful shave, nice and close, no irritation. Ah, oh, William, hello. My wife says the same shit. How are you, William? How's your weekend going? Um, see, I see, thank you. Uh, yeah, let's uh, show you what we've used again. Gillette. Yeah, I'll just leave it on YouTube. Gillette Aristocrat was the razor. Fantastic. First time I've used it on video. Inside the brand new Gillette Silver Blue. Great razor. A little bit of a, a more steeper angle. Thank you. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> Take care mate, uh, this brush made by Ian Crichton, IC Shaving Brushes, the KSPD2, Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 2, uh, the Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 1 is slightly longer and it's white with black polka dots. Thank you Sierra Papa. Um, that was the brush, that was the razor, the bowl, star of the show without a doubt, Midnight and Two the Coast. Um, if you if you can try one of these soaps, 
not necessarily this one, any of them, because they're all, they're all the same formula, but this scent is nice. I have a lavender one as well, which I'm looking forward to using, called Provence. Yeah, very complex. Um, rosemary, Himalayan cedarwood, geranium, lang lang and eucalyptus. Yeah, totally different from anything I've smelt before, but the performance on it was fantastic. Easy to lather. You've seen the shine on the, the lather. Great soaps and all natural ingredients. Great for your skin. Rinsed off with hot and cold. Then applied the... <laughs> I'm on sixes and sevens here. The Wood Spice Burgundy Aftershave from Marks and Spencer's. There it is there. Thank you, James. And finished it with the balm. So let's chat now, eh? The shave's over with, we can have a little talk now. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice shave. Skin's shining, can you see it? I'm sorry, David. <laughs> yeah, so um, I met Andrew Mowbray yesterday at the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee. And uh, I bought some stuff. Oh, actually. Let me just show you, I bought something yesterday, which I will show you guys. In my last video, in my last video I showed you um, this EDT from Zara, which is a clone of uh, Creed Aventus. Do you remember that? Zara Vibrant Leather. Um, thank you, Tim. Thank you very much. Uh, see ya. Nice to, to see you and thanks for stopping by, Tim. Uh, yeah, I bought this. I had this Zara Vibrant Leather. Not yet. No, you've not missed them. <laughs> uh, Creed Aventus clone. Very good. £20 it cost. Uh, so I went online to have a look to try and get another bottle. Um, but they don't sell it now. Here it is here. They don't sell it uh, on the website. I don't know why. Sometimes they change their the scents that they, they have. Um, sometimes they change them. Uh, but I can't find it on any of the websites that Zara do. So I went into Zara yesterday and lo and behold, I found this. Zara Rich Leather. Uh, and the notes on this Funnily enough, is one of the notes vibrant leather. So I thought, ooh, let's have a look at that. Look at this bottle packaging. It has like a, a, a little leather kind of pouch. And even better, this one's two pounds cheaper, seventeen ninety nine, and it smells almost exactly the same. Is the vibrant leather so yes I do I have uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, Instagram probably Kevy shaves yeah this one it smells almost identical to the uh, vibrant leather so if you're looking for vibrant leather get vibrant leather but if you can't find it get this one rich leather it's a uh, cheaper Here. So that's that. Yeah, and I met Andrew Mowbray at the gentleman's groom room and uh, I bought. I'm starting to get a, a real passion for. Um, I got this, the Zara stuff in Zara. Zara's a, a shop in, uh, here in Dundee. There's a Spanish shop, I think. They have them kind of all over the world. It's mostly like, well, they do women's and men's clothing. Not any that will fit me. <laughs> <laughs> They're all size, like, I don't know, small and small. Yeah, so I bought, I'm, I'm starting to get into these deodorant sticks. I bought this one yesterday in the groom room. This is Dio Harris Windsor. Oh, lovely. I bought that one, and I also have, I bought this one at the Meat Spanish Leather. Um, and Ian at the groom room gave myself... Yeah, very tight. Uh, he gave me and uh, Andrew and me 
some uh, little samples. I said I would show you guys, so he gave us uh, GOF Trumpers a JCO Violet, a little, little Violet that. He gave us Marvis toothpaste, and this one is Cinnamon Mint. And I, I can't smell it because it has a, it has some foil on the end. So, but I'm looking forward to using that. He also gave us Marlborough Cologne, which is a, a Trumpers. And Aqua de Colonia Concentrada Barberia. And you give us one of them. That's like a sip here, it's very good. Brown Man Shaves, hello. Looks like I've missed it. Yeah, well, I'm just about to sh shave. Sorry. <laughs> the toothpaste we got is great. I've not tried it yet. Um, yeah, so that's what we got. Okay, we're at uh, one hour, six minutes. Do you guys want to ask anything? Do you want to talk about anything? Because I'm sure you've all got lives to lead. Um, or let's just, let's just stay here if you want. I, I don't mind. We can talk more if you want. Hmm. Don't worry about it. I'll leave it up. Biggest soap let down. I don't want to say... I don't want to say what the soap is because um, I have one, but um, I don't want to put the company down. I'm at work, so keep going. Best new thing in the den. Uh, Gillette Aristocrat. That's a bit. I've been after one for a while, but uh, I got one. That, I got this one in this condition. The only thing is, it doesn't have a case. Archie, who's Archie? Oh yeah, Archie. Um, yeah, I need to get I need to get the hat on for Archie. I, I forgot about Archie. Archie, who? Yes, who? Yes, yes. Actually, um, it's Riley's birthday today. It's Riley's birthday. He's one years one year old today. Let me go and get him. Riley. Come say hello. Hello. It's your birthday. Everyone wants to see... Oh, you've been having a snooze, haven't you? Everyone wants to see you. Oh, look. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, Riley. Riley, look. Look at the people here. People from all over the world are watching you. You need to shave. Oh, you need another snooze. <laughs> right, shall I put you down again? Do you want to have a go with the aristocrat? No, don't sniff it because it's got a blade in it. Okay, Matthew. Right, there's little Riley. <laughs> He's done nothing but yawn. He's been sleeping. I had him out to the park. Someone from Santa Barbara saying happy birthday to you, Riley. Is that nice? Yeah? Okay, I'll let him go. There you go. Ah, little Riley. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was the one again. Damn life, old age. <laughs> okay, um, if there's nothing else you want to get, you guys want to talk about, I'm going to let you all go. 69 minutes, this is probably the longest live. Do you plan on doing any more travelling video, video? Yeah, I, I plan on probably doing another groom room one at some point, but I don't know when, because um, I don't want to do them when it's kind of opening hours. I need to do them after hours when Ian's closed, so just in case there's, I don't want customers coming in when I'm filming and stuff like that. Thank you, William. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, so wonderful shave. Skin feels fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Nice chatting to everybody. Great interaction. Thank you all for joining. Those, are, um, If anyone's watching this back, I want to see more of Dundee. Well, I have some plans for other shave videos that, uh, but might be hard to kind of film and stuff. But we shall see. I've got some. I've got some ideas. Um, yeah, AS Hole. <laughs> he should come back. Yeah, I, I liked him. 
again, someone commented, I'm not watching videos if you're not shaving and you're going to be mucking about like this. Whatever. Catch you next time. And oh yeah, Andrew, thank you. Thanks, JC. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, David. Uh, so, Kyle Shave, what is your name again? Because I keep forgetting it. I get you and Manny mixed up. You're not Manny. You're, uh, you're, uh, oh, damn. It's Manny. Who's the other one then? The other guy called. Yeah, he's Manny. Who's the other guy I get mixed up with then? The, the guy that's a firefighter. He's a fireman. Manny, so Manny's so called so -cal Shaver. Thank you, Warren. Manny is so -cal Shaver. The other guy is, is it something? Gil, that's it. I was going to say it's just like a short name, Gil. Right, so so -cal Shaves Manny, and Gil is, uh, what's his channel's name? <laughs> I can't remember, but I know he's a, he's a fireman. I know that. Okay. Enough chat. Uh, thank you all very much for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, nice shave. Thank you. Yeah, the Alien movie. Yeah, why not? Put me down for 600. Second kind of cool, that's it. Thanks, Josh. Okay, uh, we shall see you all in due course. I don't know when the next shave will be, but it will be possibly this week. Thank you everyone. Uh, I shall see you soon. I love you all. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye.